Today's daily map is a lot simpler and kinder. This time around, it's Abandoned Mine. Let's look at all the enemy details first and then the risk, and then afterwards how you're supposed to go about clearing the risk aid, and a somewhat of an idea that you guys can use for your max risk. So, this is the map itself. The enemies over here, if you've noticed, most of them are weak to arts damage, which is great. You can centralize just a specific type of damage just for this stage. So you can see it's D-Res, B-Res, 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 Generally, they're pretty much all weak to arts damage. There is not one person who's actually weaker to physical than arts. So that is great. Now, for the risk that we're going to be taking, um, we're going to take the redeployment time because we're not going to redeploy anyone anyways. We will be taking the challenge for today, which is the Mudrock Colossus tag. We're going to be taking attack up. Uh, attack up on these enemies is not going to be that bad since we're not even going to use anyone to block these enemies anyways. And then after us, take um, HP down. Uh, they, it's not going to be too much of a pain to bring HP down. And this is enough for risk 8. But to make the map a little bit simpler, I'm actually going to take this rubble tag because it will help to funnel the enemies into a particular bleed tile that will let them lose health much faster. Without this tag, it um, could be a bit tricky to do it. So this tag is actually helping us rather than uh, going against us. If you want to like do risk 8 in an easier manner, maybe you don't need to take the HP up. But I'm telling you that you can actually take the HP up to score risk 9. Um, any other things like to take this and this, these two tags are not easy to handle. So we're not going to take these two. This is, that be, this is the squad that we're going to be using. I juggled my words there. Um, Aya Fiala is at skill 3 and 3. If you don't have that, please borrow from a friend. And if you don't have a friend with that, come to my Discord server. You can add someone over there. Next up, you're going to want a slower supporter. So a Orchid is the lowest example that you can go for. And then a, another caster. As long as you have three arts damage sources and one of them is a slower, I'm all good. I'm very happy for you to just take this stage away and clear it out. And there are so many other free spaces behind. So if you have other operators in mind to make the stage simpler, please go ahead and do so. You also need one healing defender by the way. So Spot is the easiest example that I can give to you guys. If you have anyone else in mind, like a Gumi, a Saria, a No, please go ahead and take them in the stage. Okay, let's play the stage. Abandon mine. Risk nine. You begin off the stage by just deploying everyone that you need. So I'm gonna place A over here. And then I'm gonna put a slower supporter. Following up, I will place the next caster over here and then you just need one more operator in the map which is of course your healing defender just like that okay i'm gonna be back when you need to take extra steps so goodbye see you guys Yeah, I've returned. So you notice that the golem has broke the stone rubble and now he's actually bypassing. Because we didn't take the HP seal tag, we're going to be leaking this golem right over here. Alright. Then afterwards, your operators are just going to clear out whoever that's left. And then, I would want you guys to trigger your AF Yeller skill. So the moment you realize that this particular guy is in range of AF Yeller, you can kind of like go ahead, use his skill, and then her skill is going to eliminate these two enemies over here. Okay, get the idea? I'll be right back again. Oh, 
Last thing to do. The moment that you see that Big Bob so Big Bob is the guy on top, is in AS Fearless, AS Fearless skill range, go ahead and use a skill. And then, at the same time, you're going to notice there's two more Metallurgists, these guys who like, shoot range attacks, coming in. Use Spot skill to give that additional bit of healing. You can use Orchid as well, just to add some damage onto uh, Big Bob. And then just like that, your AA and your Steward are just going to be fine enough to clear off these last two enemies. Okay? Simple risk 8, if not risk 9 within your account. Alright, now that we understand the low risk version, let's add 4 more risk into our strategy to make it max risk. Now, for max risk, we are taking all of the tags as you see over there, and then afterwards I'm going to be borrowing a Premonix in my squad. I switched up the operators away already, and then I also want to Iskadi Outer. So there's a lot of buffers and slowers in this stage. Saria and Suzuran are both people who can slow the enemies and buff your operators. Premonix is helping to lower the defense and resistance of our enemies here, and Skadi is giving pure attack stat onto all our allies. So, let me show you guys how it's done. Abandoned Mine. Alright, to begin the stage, I am going to place a Premonix over here facing upwards. Next up, I'm going to be putting in my ear. And then I'm going to put Skadi Outer here. Then I want to have Suzuran. I'm a little happy that I get to showcase Suzuran and Premonix this time around. This is the first daily CC map that you guys see these two operators in my max race run. Then I'm going to put Chen Outer here, facing downwards. And I just need to deploy one last operator. Which you guys can definitely see who that is. So Saria is going to be right over here, sitting in that comfortable spot. Right? Okay, then I'm just waiting out for the stage to play out itself. Until the golem hits the stone rubble, then I may need to take some actions. Because in this max race, you can't leak the golem since there is only one HP seal. We need to get a way to actually kill him. And so, what I'm gonna do is that the moment he breaks the rubble, I'll take some actions. I'm gonna use Suzeran's slow. I'm going to use Premonix debuff, I'm going to take Chen out of skill, I'm going to use Aya, I'm going to use Saria, I'm going to buff everybody basically. Do an insane amount of attack onto the golem to eliminate him. And I'm going to stop Chen's skill. That's an overkill of skills just for one golem. If you didn't know, in Max Riss, um, the golem has, I believe it's um, 90 resistance. So he's pretty like resilient towards us damage, but his defense is low. The only reason why, if let's say you only use a physical damage dealer against him to do stuff, uh, the reason why it might not work out as well as you imagine is because his health is very, very high. Now we're just waiting for the boss this time around, which is Mudrock and Big Ball. So I'm going to do something a little bit different from just now, not that overkill version of the Golem um, taking in everyone's skill. So Mudrock and Mr. Golem is coming in. Now, I'm going to use Suzeran's skill to slow Mudrock down. So we wait for the Golem to get in. And I'm going to use Chen's skill. I'm going to use Aya's skill. I'm going to use Premnik's skill. I'm going to place Skadi's buff. So it's a lot of skills in one to get these guys down and done. Now once uh, Suzu's skill end, I'm going to use Saria to slow down Big Ball. So this way, I'm waiting for Suzuran, Aya, and Premnik's skill to come back up for my use. Alright? 
Great stuff, beautiful stuff. I'm gonna lower his defense so that Chen will have an easier time to pick on him. And then I'm gonna use Suzu's uh, debuff. And then I'm waiting for Aya's skill to come back up, which is almost done. There you go. Pop Aya's skill. Deal a bit good amount of damage and then do one final buff. And there you go. That's Max Risk done for today. Not a Risk 15, it's just a Risk 13 this time oh well. Uh, this time around, sorry. Okay, that's that. Hope this guy is able to help you guys out in some way. And if not, I shall see you guys in the remaining days to come. Alright, bye everyone.